The guys that are out there t uh, talk, giving all these advice, they're not even like <laughs> marriage. They don't even get girlfriends, but somehow they're fucking <laughs> gurus and shit. Best, dude. It's hilarious. And then the guys that are in stable, <laughs> loving relationships are out here and they're like called simps and shit. You know what though? Like <laughs> yeah. the key to a secret, like a good marriage, is like being <laughs> able to say things under your breath, like real quietly. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Careful Boys. We are currently off the record. Today we have Jesse Mom. Oh, hello! Um, I think you are a good person to help settle this thing that's been going around online that I do not appreciate personally. Okay. Um, why is it that Filipino guys have such a bad reputation for being toxic to date? Are they? Really? What, are you dating a Filipino man right now? No, but I have. Ooh. A lot of dancers are Filipino. Are they Are they quite toxic? Filipino yeah. dancers. What is yeah. the deal? Because that's like everywhere when you have these girls doing tier lists of like who's mm -hmm. the most toxic, it's always number one really? Filipino. Or the Viet guy. But it's usually Filipino. Can you, can you educate me? Because I've never heard of this before. Yeah, me neither. Oh, I actually don't know the reasons though. But what makes I you say they are toxic? Yeah. I think just like from anecdotally, my relationships. Yeah. yeah. Like what happened in yeah, your speak relationships? speak from your experience. Um, Cause a lot of other girls do agree because I've been seeing that going around. Yeah. yeah. It's a thing. Just do what we do and like take something anecdotal and just pretend like everyone does it. Yeah. <laughs> or what have you observed from like friends that dated that you've like seen? Yeah, like what, your What's the friends? hot goss on Filipino? The hot guys? Also, also is it a misconception? I'll take yeah. that as an answer too. Is it true what they say? Tell us why Ryan's toxic. Come on. Why, why, why are you toxic? I think Filipino guys are, are a lot of them are naturally charismatic. That's, That's a generalization. A nice compliment. Okay. Yeah. Thank I feel like Filipinos are the Rico Suaves of Asian. Yeah, yeah. It's a Spanish blunt. Dante Bosco has the suave. Oh God, Dante, come on. What's the next? The kids so call him Riz. Yeah, they're charis no, so they're charismatic, and that does that. And they know it. Oh, and they know but it. But they also have Latin infidelities. Oh. <laughs> Latin infidelity, like telenovela style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't resist the passion for everybody. <laughs> can you confirm with your It's like puss and boots. Yeah. He just like the puss. It's like Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. So that's the main <laughs> issue you think is that they just get too uh, passionate and they cheat. Yeah, actually, it's like two extremes. Like I know a lot of Filipino men who are very committed and like have like long, long, long term. And those are usually the nurses, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the military. Or the military yeah. Filipinos. Yeah. Mm. But that's anecdotal. Dancer, is dancer that a is that more of a dancer thing or is maybe. that a Filipino thing? Oh, maybe it, it, and it's an intersection of both. Oh, of like, that's two bads then. Yeah. So you got the really extremes. I did. Yeah. did you, or is, is your anecdotal all dancers? Mostly. Okay, so that doesn't count, huh? <laughs> my sample size is just like the toxic, are disqualified. most toxic. Yeah. But then I feel like all Filipinos know how to dance and sing, yeah. and they're in they're in the medical field. That's how I feel too. So you're pretty much dating the average Filipino man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're break dancing or popping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. My my father-in-law is a Filipino man, and he has been described as having toxic traits. Hmm. What are these toxic traits? Drinking and driving. <laughs> Um, that's literally, there's toxicity in his blood. That's, yes. Um, yeah, a lot of yelling, apparently, when when, uh, when they're growing up. Um, that's standard, yeah. But that's also like so, all of us growing up, that's too. Eight. Yeah. That might be a generational thing. Does he have a gambling addiction? Or did he ever have one? I don't think so. Because I didn't know that that was a big thing until I got older. He's a, he's a... Filipinos gamble a lot. Yeah, because like Seventh-day Adventists, it's like how we grew oh, up. We didn't yeah. see a lot of gambling, but then when I got older and I had friends from outside school, a lot of their dads had issues with drinking well, and gambling. I feel like if you're an Asian from a religious cult, you kind of don't fit the stereotype because you're an outcast of your own group. Mm. A little bit, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, he's also a tax guy, so I think he's just was always more built to be responsible with money. Oh, and shit. okay, yeah, that makes yeah, yeah. sense, yeah. But what's the, what makes it, because I feel like generationally they were all toxic. So what makes Filipino like extra, the highest rate? The highest toxic? of all Asians. Yeah. I don't even know. That's the thing. I don't know. I, I see it all the time. That a lot of girls have that opinion, but. It's been going around though on TikTok. I don't know really? if I fit yeah. the bill. But they don't explain <laughs> it. It's just a guy that goes up and then they rank. They'll be like, all right, out of all the Asians, which one? Is the most toxic. Not gonna lie, it's Filipino. I think I think Filipino dudes maybe just I don't know if it's generational, but they do have a high rate of like fuckboyism. Mm. I think a lot of them. 
So maybe at some point they like hurt somebody or they, they weren't into them that way and then they kind of like cold shoulder it. Yeah. I can think of a couple of Filipino friends that I'm like, oh yeah, they're a little fuck boys. What race yeah, is Anthony really Lee? <laughs> He's Filipino adjacent. <laughs> yeah, because he married a Filipino. Wait, Anthony's Viet Chinese, right? Oh no, he's Viet. That's why he's a he's a toxic fuckboy. Because <laughs> fuck the boy. second in line, <laughs> those girls would always say is Viet. Yeah. Uh -huh. So okay, like I thought it was Viet guys. In my tier list of my friends, I would have put Viet guys as the number, number one, one toxic. Yeah. From my observation, I didn't know that most girls thought it was Filipinos. Mm. You know what made me sad? The Japanese didn't even make it on the list. Yeah. Uh, that made you sad that you're not toxic. Yeah, because that means hoping? they're not fucking. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking doing math or some shit. The they're too busy sipping, they're not fucking. Yeah. <laughs> what was what was the list? It was, it was, Nobody thinks we fuck. It was like <laughs> they yeah, a lot of girls brought up Filipinos. Yeah. They brought up Vietnamese. Korean. Korean. They brought up they said, yeah, Koreans, they drama, whatever, whatever. And then I'm like, they never said Japanese. We need flaws. Yeah. Come on, dude. <laughs> the reason why the that's way. why the reason why you're not toxic is no one's dating your ass. Yeah. Stop not, not fucking being an apprentice sushi chef and fucking working all day. Yeah. In your in your personal tier list, Jesse is Filipino's number one toxic. Mm. Mm. What's number two? Uh, Greece. Mm. Korean. Just men. Oh, Just, oh, oh general, I, general. yeah, I think like you're not you're not stereotypical enough. What do right? guys do that are so toxic? Yeah. yeah. I don't, even know that, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be more racist, please. Like, you, you've been described as toxic many times. Uh -huh. Are you toxic? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think is toxic? That's the thing, I don't it's even know. It's subjective, right? So, I to you, know, what do you what think is either. like, what are, what are some toxic Cheese. traits that you feel like when you're dating some dude? Toxicity to me is when you leave the girl in worse shape than she was prior to meeting you. Mm. I, that's how I define toxicity. Mm -hmm. That's a good Oh, toxicity. then I've never been toxic. Like is credit carding random women at the store toxic? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just fun. That's just a fun, that's chill dude. Like, yeah, that's just not if that's just somebody I want to get beers. That's just AFV. Yeah, yeah. That's, not if you make the cha ching noise. <laughs> if you make the cha ching, yeah, yeah, then yeah. it's playful and fun. Or it's, if it's like, oh, sorry, it didn't read, and then you gotta do it yeah, again, and then you go cha ching. That's, yeah. that's but if you if you just do it silently, creepy, bro. <laughs> toxic, yeah, yeah, toxic, yeah. Yeah. toxic. You gotta make the noises. So I, okay, in, in that case, the way I defined it, there are a lot of situations where I think Filipino guys do that. I do like that explanation you said, where you left the or the girl leave because you're toxifying the person, a, mm. a worse person than when you uh, met them. And I would say uh, when I was a junior in high school, I was toxic. Mm. Yeah. What'd you do? Piece of shit. Wow. Oh, I had a chick that was like, she was like um, doing really good in school, oh, yeah. and then and then she ended up like. Waking up at random people's houses, and then like she stopped doing, being the debate team anymore, and like, yeah, I was like a really bad influence. Why? <laughs> you stopped her You're from being disagreeable. You were a fun time, dude. I think that was really fun, though. Yeah. yeah. But is that yeah. toxic? Is that yeah, fun or toxic? I think or so. fun can also be toxic. toxic. No. no. I think it's like, well, I think I did worse shit. Where like, if I was breaking up with someone, I wanted to have the upper hand. So I wanted them to be sadder than I was at the end of it. Oh, oh Jesus. That's Filipino that's toxic Jesus Christ. I've done that and I think that is a Filipino. I never did that. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up, yeah. And I think uh, your thing was you were just a bad influence. I think I was just bad, but that's toxic, right? But this is like a more like direct. Well, I mean, if it depends. Cause like, what if you influenced her in that way, but then she ended up being like a really cool skater or something. <laughs> like that's kind of. I think I took her away from her dreams. Okay, that's, well then, oh. that's, that's not good. That's heavy. Yeah, because you go to like she's. In she's middle to, school. She's trying to no, no uh, junior year in high school. Oh, junior. She's high. trying to go to USC, and then we ended up like going to a rave in Arizona. Mm. And then. You yeah. know what I think it is? I think Filipino guys generally have a coping mechanism that is dependent on the other person feeling worse than they do. Oh, really? so that's what makes it toxic. Because you gotta like. Yeah, I think that's how they feel. You want to hurt me? I'm going to hurt you. I think that's how they feel good about their decisions. Yeah. Is that they want, they need someone else to like the other person to suffer a little bit. So they're like, oh, I came out okay. And they yeah. can move forward without guilt. They or I? Me. <laughs> yeah. No, I did it for many years, so I get it. But like when, um, I think when girls are talking about Filipino guys being toxic, that's probably got to be in there somewhere. Yeah. Because yeah. I think they leave that's a sad. wreckage behind. I've actually never been cheated on. But it's more of like the lying and the manipulation. Oh, the mind games. That's, oh, that's toxic to me. 
Yeah. Is it a flex to be like, I've never been cheated on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it a little bit. <laughs> girl, get it, honey. Get it, girl. Yeah. Get it, work, girl. I've probably been cheated on, but I never knew. <laughs> That's a nice oh, flex, too. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's like kind of a cooler flex. Yeah, you never cool. dated a it's Filipino a guy. Flex. Yeah, because it's a mystery. Yeah. It's a mystery. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. I might have been cheated on. Yep. Schrodinger's cheating. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> don't open the box. <laughs> There is a, I think, like, especially when I met other families that were not non-religious, not that this is, like, better, but, like, they, uh, they did have dads that were, like, Filipino salsa dads. Oh, dude, those guys are And I didn't know that was a stereotype. Sure. Like, Filipino salsa dads, like, are pretty, they yeah, cheat. <laughs> dude, the yeah. way they move their hips, dude, yeah. come on. Yeah. They're crushing it. They'd be doing, like, little lessons with, like, different women and then... Mm -hmm. I had a friend, his dad's a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and he told me that his dad probably fucked every single one of his clients. Wow. And wow. his dad gave him steroids when he was like 16 too. That's pretty tight. Whoa! I mean, he sounds like damn Bilzerian in the future. <laughs> damn! Jeez. Sounds any like other, cool any, any redeeming <laughs> qualities of Filipino guys? Um, I think nah. they're, uh, <laughs> no, let's end the video. <laughs> How can we save them? How can we save, I, I think, think they're, they're doing happy. just fine. I think they're killing I've them. always liked Filipino guys because I feel like they're Optimistic and happy all the time. They're fun hangs, dude. Yeah, Filipino dudes are fun I hangs. Yeah. I think that's I the charm that gets the girls. Yeah, yeah, because when you're like East Asian, there's no sex really. Yeah. Like maybe perversion, but there's really no passion and like the stereotypes different. Yeah. So then, I'm like, even I want a Filipino guy. Same. Yeah. So They're I'm like, like more free. Wow. Yeah. And then the East Asians, like Chinese, Japanese, like Koreans are more, they're, they're coming out more romantic. They're like the more emotional one out of the three. But then like, dude, like stereotypically, man, there's like, no, nah, it's different. Whichever yeah. race Anthony Lee is, that's probably my least favorite one. That's true. We're just talking about favorite races now. What if, what is a common toxic trait that men have in relationships? That we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, tell yeah, us so we can yeah. learn. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you said number two is all men. Number one is the Filipino, and then number two is all, all men. men. <laughs> all, all men. Yeah, all others. Yeah, what is something? Uh, what's toxic stuff? Because you know what I think too is that sometimes a lot of people have trauma, and the toxic shit that they do is impulsive and not intentional. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what is a common thing that you've mm -hmm. seen like in dating that that does keep coming up? Literally, this is like, it's it's not even juicy. It's men's inability to self-regulate their own emotions and traumas. And it, it, that's why it comes up and that's why, like, because communication is key. You can work through really anything. Mm -hmm. You can make mistakes and you can work through it. But usually men, like, ball up and they don't want to consider another perspective. They don't want to be open. And that's a lot of, like, past stuff being hanging on. Like they're hanging on to. Yeah, a lot of chicks always complain. Yeah. Like, most relationships, it's always the girl complaining about their dude not communicating. Yes. Yeah, like I've had that problem with every single guy. And, I, and then the more I get to know them and actually like love and have empathy for them, I'm like, oh no, you're hurt. Mm. Yeah. yeah like How do that. you address it? Yeah. You what tell do you them, do? stop hiding yourself, you Not dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stop being a pussy about it. No, I, I have um, an issue too, because I get angry, I'm Korean, you know? <laughs> so they make, it makes them tighten up? Like, yeah. They're they're defensive now. Yeah, like, like we're, as much as I want to help, I'm also like aggressive. <laughs> You know, mm. um, my boyfriend's Colombian. He said that he thinks that Korean women are the Latinas of Asia. <laughs> you know, we're like yeah. expressive and dramatic yeah. and angry, and so, but that's a uh, uh, that's bad too because that does obviously make it's like fire with fire. Yeah, yeah. I if I could like, if I had the self control and the money and the time, I think my passion project in life would be actually to like lead men's retreats. That'll be cool. Oh, wow. And give like love and listening to people. And, and I think, cause like, I'm like, God, like women have it so hard. And that's what I focus on a lot of the time. But women have it hard because of men, but men have it hard because of men. Interesting. Damn, dude. In point. relationships? In everything. Work. That's true. Yeah. I have work trauma, relationship trauma, and it's men. I think that's what I always thought was weird where um, women would look at men as one cohesive monolithic group but guys are against guys, yeah. competing against guys, protecting others from guys, yes. you know? Yeah. But what about the guys that are protecting the world from, you know, the, yeah, it's just fucking wild. But isn't, isn't bitches pretty tough on each other too? 
I, I, I feel like I feel like that's true too. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 um perspective. I I mean I, I think a lot of guys have that experience, but looking back, my. Um, assessment of what happened to me was that like I didn't grow up understanding how to identify those things so when I was told why are you holding back I didn't even know I was holding back so then it felt more like an accusation of like why are you not doing something that you know you can do so then it's holding, like, holding back what so for example right like let's say um <laughs> I can't even identify what's happening to me right now, but I'm being pressured to express myself when I can't even put it into words, oh. which just pissed me yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, you haven't processed what's going so on. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like can't maybe some people are hiding how they truly feel, but in my case, I can't even register, and I don't even have that emotional IQ to know that this is how I'm feeling, this is how I'm processing. Like I don't even have those tools, mm -hmm. so then I just get blamed for not expressing the things that I'm unaware about. Mm. So then it becomes like this thing where it's like, I'm being accused of holding back when I'm not holding back. Mm. I do want to express, I do want to have this discussion. I'm just not even there yet. So a, a retreat like that can help people get to that point where now they can go, oh, I am angry. Yeah. And the real reason why I'm angry is not because you made me angry, is because, oh, I have a trigger for whatever past thing, but that's so much self-awareness. And yeah. but I feel like, now there's more guys talking about this shit, right? But in the past, like if you don't practice that, it's like it's like weight training or anything yeah. or any skill you set. Practice, you yeah. have to practice mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And if if you can't even, for, it's like being an alcoholic, right? You can't you can't admit to your addiction. Or you can't admit and see yourself. Yeah. You can't even. You're not even at that stage. So a lot of guys are out there in relationships, mm -hmm. being told because woman could probably clearly see what's going on and you're like, why are you, you know, why are you suppressing this part of you? And then they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not suppressing shit. I lash out, I'm lashing out. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then it causes this, cause then it's like, it's yeah. It's a reflex, right? Yeah. Some chicks, though, think they're fucking body language experts. <laughs> And I'm like, bitch, there's nothing wrong. There's I'm that lying. too, there's that too, where you're just, cause men do be blanking. Like, like men do just like, are not thinking of not, anything. We're yeah. just standing. I literally am staring <laughs> at the wall. We're breathing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually just oh, taking dude. some time no. to stare at the wall. We're breathing? No. We're and then breathing. there's some type of projection going on where it's like, what, what are you thinking about? What are you, what are you what doing? Are thinking? And it's like, no, those those are your insecurities. I'm breathing today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm trying to breathe out my nose. Okay? I'm just breathing. I'm not thinking. And then you have to make up something that you probably mm. thought you were thinking about. Butterflies. So you can have a discussion. Yeah. I was thinking about Butterflies. fucking butterflies, okay? <laughs> do you guys relate to that? Yeah, for sure. All guys do. I think women, a lot of women do give dudes more credit <laughs> than they deserve. Because yes. I, dudes are really simple minded. Mm -hmm. And then I think because women are such like internal multitaskers and they can think about all kinds of things and like all kinds of perspectives, they're like, uh, he must be doing this because of this. But the dude's literally just breathing. Yeah. <laughs> guys are like, all the time. inside of a dude's brain is like, like this? <laughs> and like, oh shit, is that, is that Ferrari? Yeah. That happened, that happened to me the other day. I was having a conversation with my wife, and I don't know if you know this, but I'm a mouth breather. Just by trade, I'm a uh -huh. mouth breather. By trade, okay. Uh, and then she was, she, we were having a conversation about something serious, and I wasn't, we, the conversation ended, and I, I've been trying to breathe out my nose more often, right? So I just go. And I'm just trying because I have that's to. Bad that. sound. Yeah. That's, that's a bad that. sound. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. that. Don't, don't do that. that. He goes, what, "Are you upset or something?" And I was like, "I was like, oh no, no, no! I was just trying to breathe out my nose." But she didn't believe it for a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> and I had to keep convincing her. I was like, "No, no, no!" Like, I'm trying to breathe out my nose, babe. Come on. You know I'm a mouth breather, baby. You know me. I'm a mouth breather. I'm and, and, and and yeah, yeah. Two days ago, I'm with my wife in bed. I'm like, I'm on my computer. Like this. She's like. What's, what's, what's happening? I'm I feel like, like you're mad at me when you do that. No, he's, like, he's like, babe, is everything okay? I'm like, I think I just figured out how to fit jujitsu into my schedule. Because <laughs> I was just on Yelp, looking at what's open in the morning. <laughs> That's another thing, too. <laughs> but for her, she thought it was like some crazy yeah. shit. But I was like, I think I settled it. I, there's these three places, I'm gonna DM them and see what's up. <laughs> they finally have a 6 a.m. class that fits my schedule. <laughs> but she knows me now after yeah, 15 yeah. years. Yeah. She knows I'm not bullshitting. Yeah. But a lot of, I think, a lot of times, and when, when it's early yeah, on, it's good. like it cannot be that fucking simple. What, what the fuck, bitch? You better fucking tell me. Yeah, yeah. And then it blows up because like then you put the bitches in the room together, and then they all start talking about 
how we were staring at the wall, yeah. and like it must mean this other thing, and then they're all like tag team in that fucking point. And then, and then they all... come back with a different story, like a whole novel of what you were doing. And I'm like, oh, I was just staring at the fucking wall. And you're like, well, I'm not as smart as you think I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's either I'm staring at the wall, I'm having a dinosaur battle play in my head, yeah. or That's I was thinking, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. It's yeah. 100% a dinosaur battle. Yeah. Like, I think a stegosaurus could beat a T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. what, what if a brontosaurus had to defend itself against a meat eater though? Yeah. <laughs> and you're just thinking, man, I don't know, can a brontosaurus really fuck up a raptor? Cause like oh, brontosaurus know. just eat grass all day. And it has yeah. a long neck. Right? A huge neck. But then the raptors are much smaller, much more smaller. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. So it's not always, what we, what women think? <laughs> Probably most of yeah. the time not. <laughs> but I do agree though. That would be really good. A retreat where a guy can start processing with no judgment, how to identify certain things, and then be able to communicate it in a relationship. Because I think like guys can communicate. Girls do this too, where it's like in a, in a few words because you just know so much. But I think in a relationship setting, it does help to be able to communicate more thoroughly and the thought process behind it because I think females just think so differently from us that in order to package that message correctly, it has to be in depth. I, I can say though, being with a female has helped me communicate better with dudes too. I think so. Just because like it's yeah. opened up my brain to so many other perspectives and way of communicating mm -hmm. and like, yeah. like what's the best form? Like sometimes like it's not always a hammer, always a screwdriver, you know, it's like there's like different ways of applying stuff and there's ways of like, maybe I don't even need to use words. Maybe if I go like this with Nick, Nick knows that I love him, you know, and then. Mm -hmm. like, That's true, yeah. And Dude, I, well, I bet being a father too, like, and, and, too. and it's like, there's so many ways, yeah. Well, also my brain, like, like bitches can just do layers of thinking, right? <laughs> and, and I can only do like one at a time, right? Yeah, yeah. I got like one little, one yeah. little, one thing at a time. They're like yeah. baklava. It is, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's feel, it up, feel, it up, feel it up, feel it up, feel it up, feel it up. But these bitches doing like fucking all this twisted yeah. thinking about things. Like she could think about many things at one time, and I don't even know how to. I'm trying to think about lunch. You know, that's Yo, what I'm thinking right. about. It's so great that all four of these guys have highly successful marriages. Yeah. Too. I wouldn't say highly successful. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say highly <laughs> successful. Anyone that says that, they're fucking a lot. Everyone's been in a relationship here over a decade. Yeah. Way over a decade. It's funny because the guys that are out there t t uh, talk, giving all these advice, they're not even like <laughs> marriage. They don't even get girlfriends, but somehow they're fucking gurus and shit. It's the best, dude. It's hilarious. And then the guys that are in stable, loving relationships are out here and they're like called simps and shit. You know what though? Like <laughs> yeah. the key to a secret, like a good marriage is like being able to say things under your breath, like real quietly. 